Like the coast is clear. What do you think, Gimmick? Uh, I'd say there is uh, ample evidence to support the theory you uh, advance. Sounds like an all clear to me. Head towards the shore, Grubby. It looks pretty safe over there. Aye, aye, Teddy. I've got a funny feeling that that diving suit we found at Leaky Lake belongs to our friend the Hermit. Gee, Teddy, he's not my friend. Those stories about him have got me kind of, kind of scared. But he saved my life, remember? Besides, Grubby, if the hermit is so mean and uh, uh, nasty, why would he run away every time we come e e near him? Well, maybe he doesn't like to work with people looking over his shoulder. Better safe than scared out of your skin, I always say. <laughs> hey, look! Land ho, fellas! This is the perfect spot to land. I'll return the diving suit to the hermit and maybe ask him a few questions. Are you sure this is uh, uh, wise, my boy? Well, you just said he's probably harmless. I did? Oh, uh, yes, well, uh, uh, but uh, I've been wrong uh, before, you know. Gimmick's right. Maybe if we just hang around here, we'll catch him taking a stroll or fetching his newspaper or something. I'll be fine. Besides, I don't want to frighten him away again. Teddy? Huh? What were you thinking about? Uh, I was, uh, thinking about how exciting this is going to be. Uh-oh. Every time you've said that, we've been in hot water up to our necks. Now, don't worry. I'll see you in a couple days, Grubby. In the meantime, maybe Gimmick can figure out what that black box does. Uh, yes, uh, I'll do my, uh, uh, best. What he means is, we'll do our best. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, quite correct, Fuzz. Uh, we're all in this uh, uh, together. We'll see you in a few days, Teddy. Uh, and remember, be aware of any imminent threats to your uh, 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 well-being. I think he means be careful. Don't worry, I will. I'm sure everything will be safe here. Now to find out what's at the bottom of the lake and who lives on that island. All ready with the, uh, uh, propeller, Grubby? Aye, aye, gimmick. We're not far from our destination. Keep up the good work, loyal friends, uh, fiends. Uh, how about lending a hand with this thing, huh? Lend a hand? The Supreme Oppressor does not do menial work. Who suggested such a thing? Uh, him! Uh, no, him! No, no, uh, 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 now keep hauling! Oh. Oh. Oh, gee, yeah! That's boy! Somebody's in a bad mood today! Grudge, I must have that black box. See how insubordinate they are when I don't have it? But all that will change when Dredge retrieves our master weapon. Wow, just look at this place. I think I'll take a look around. Oh, huh? Ooh, whoa, whoa! It, it's some kind of trap. A cave. I'll bet that's where the hermit lives. Ashes. I knew it. Someone lives here. That's it. That's the glowing face we saw the other night. I think we're about to get to the bottom of this mystery. Excellent. 
Simon. Brads, come forward. What's up? I want you to explain our mission to your cousin Greg. Yes, your nastiness. You have your orders. What is it now? Um, uh, well, uh, um, I really hate to bother you with details, but what exactly should I say to Dredge? Tell him to retrieve the black box from our airship, which now sits at the bottom of Leaky Lake. Let me see if I got this right. You want Dredge to go sit on the bottom of that lake and box with somebody? No, no, no. Now listen carefully, you moronic monstrosity. Tell the big slimy monster to swimmy swimmy in the big wet lake and find the big black flying boat. Got it so far? Uh-huh. Oh, and tell the nice slimy monster to look for a little black boxy boxy and bring it to me. Do you understand? Uh, sure thing, your supreme what's it? Just cause you get kicked out of Troll Tech, everyone thinks you're an idiot. Hey, uh, Dredge! Wakey, wakey! <laughs> What's all the banging about? Oh, it's you, Cousin Dredge. It's time to do your stuff, Cousin Dredge. Now, you gotta look for a box at the bottom of the lake. What's it look like? Well, it's pretty big and it's got a bunch of water in it and the... No, no, I, I meant the box thing. Oh, that, well, it's, um... It's got a box size and it's black. Don't forget that, because I bet it's important. Anything else? Yeah, it's in some kind of a boat. <laughs> Well, I'm ready when you are. Oh, all right. Let's get this show on the road. Come on, you meatheads. Lower away. That's it. Easy now. Yeah. Easy for you to say. Yeah, easy for you. Uh-oh. It's the monsters. I'd better clear out of here. What's this? Oh boy. What? Wow! Come on, fella. Let's make waves. Oh, goody. Some exercise before we eat. I know you aren't known for your speed, but please try to make an exception in this case. There it is. The eclipse. Where'd that little guy disappear to? There's something funny going on here. Hey, come back here, you! Huh? A wise guy, huh? You won't get away this time. You're a slippery little guy. That makes you easier to swallow. <laughs> gotcha. Don't gotcha. Way to go, Dredd! I sure love seafood. Come on out of there, you little shrimp. So that's what the fourth crystal does. It makes oxygen. I wonder if I'll ever get out of here to tell Grubby and Gimmick about it. Uh-oh. I'm afraid not. What's going on? Yo! Yo! Yikes! Cut that out! Drudge didn't say nothing about any underwater hazards. Oh. 
I didn't think I'd ever get out of that cave. Thank you very much, Mr. Hermit. Oh, you're welcome. You are the Hermit of Leaky Lake, aren't you? Well, some folks call me that. This sure is an amazing place. Did you build it yourself? No, no. I found it. Come with me. This certainly is a handy tool. Especially for dealing with monsters. Mm, yes, I call them stingers. Oh. <laughs> a lot of them don't work anymore. This stuff's been around here for a long, long time. When did you find all this? Oh, one day a while back. I don't remember exactly when. There are a lot of things I don't remember. <gasps> Sorry about that. Not to worry. But please, don't touch anything else. Don't worry, I won't. Follow me now. And watch your step. Well, here we are. Wow! We're on an island. That we are. I'll just build a fire here. Now tell me. Who are you? Well, uh, I I don't really remember. Why do you run away from people? That's what hermits are supposed to do, isn't it? <laughs> yes, but why? Actually, I have no idea. But you're not afraid of me. No, I suppose I'm not. But that's because I took care of you once. You remember when you dropped into the lake? So it was you. You saved my life. <laughs> yes. Uh, I suppose I did. My name is Teddy Ruxpin. And your name is... My name? I don't believe I have one. Of course you do. Everyone has a name. Everyone except me. Well, there is one thing I know about you. And what might that be? You're an Iliop. I'm an Iliop, too. An Iliop, you say? That's right. And just what is an Iliop? Well... My friend Grubby made up this song about Iliops. My best friend is an Iliop. An Iliop? An Iliop is my best friend. I see. My best friend is an Iliop. An Iliop. An Iliop is my best friend. Cause you can trust an Iliop to do the things that he's supposed to. You can trust an Iliop to do the things he says he'll do. You can trust an Iliop to be your best friend just forever and he would like it also if you'd be his best friend too. You can trust an Iliop will always have a sense of humor. You can trust an Iliop will always have a sense of pride. You can trust that if somehow he isn't always quite successful at least you can be sure an Iliop has really tried. At least you can be sure an Iliop has really tried. And that's why my best friend is an Iliop. An Iliop. An Iliop is my best friend. <laughs> my best friend is an Iliop. An Iliop. An Iliop is my best friend. Cause he just has a disposition that is always just the same. He also makes the day seem sunny even though there's pouring rain. If he's ill and Iliop. Will probably say he's feeling fine Cause there's no chance that you will hear an Iliop complain You can My trust an Iliop to do the things that he's supposed to do You can trust an Iliop to do the things he says he'll do You can trust an Iliop to be your best friend just forever And he would like it also if you'd be his best friend You can trust an Iliop cause he's my friend Now does that explain it? Well, thank you I feel a lot better now, knowing what I am. Say, you must be hungry. Well, now that you mention it, I am a bit. 
but I left all of my supplies down by the lake. <laughs> well, that's all right. I'm sure I've got something you'll like. After all, we're both Iliops. Here you go. Try this. Mmm, it's delicious. I grow it myself. Maybe later you'd like to see a few more interesting things I found down there at the bottom of the lake. Gee, I'd like that very much. But what about that monster that attacked me? He might still be down there. Oh, I think he'll stay away from us as long as I have my stinger along. Now, eat, Brother Iliop. <laughs> What a waste of my precious time. I don't see no boxes down here. Well, Drudge, what's keeping that spineless cousin of yours? Beats me, your worthlessness. Maybe he met someone he knows down there. Or maybe he's double-crossed us and he's keeping the black box for himself. Uh, I doubt that, boss. He's too stupid to be dishonest. It's a noble family trait. Well, if he doesn't find it soon, we'll have to send you down there to get it. Hurry, Dredgy! Come on, boy! Hey, Dredgy, Dredgy! Surprise! Whoa! Yo! I'll get you for that. That was close. You can take your helmet off now. What do all these gadgets and things do? Well, I don't know. I don't think they do anything special. But they must do something. Open up! You can't get away from me. Oh, we're safe enough in here, I should think. Hmm. I wonder if... I was right. The crystal fits perfectly. Whoa! whoa. Mercy! What's going on? Let's see how they like this. Huh? That ain't supposed to do that. I think you did something. If I only knew what. Uh, I'll fix you. Now what do we do? My friend, I wish I knew the answer. Let's see what this button does. What's that? Well, now we know what that does. Yes, I guess we do. <laughs> Perhaps your cousin has met his match in those murky depths. Nah, uh, there's no match for Cousin Dredge. He's got what you call nerves of steel, that guy. No! Ooh. Let me out of here. I quit. Hmm? Nerves of steel, eh? Well, okay then. How about aluminum foil? Full speed ahead, brother Iliop. Let's see. That would be this lever. Where is the black box? I command you to go back there and bring it to your leader. Listen. If you want that box so bad, go unpack your swimming trunks and get it yourself. Mm -hmm. Temperamental guy, ain't he? I must have that black box. Friends and loyal servants, we must retrieve the black box. Everyone, into the water on my command. John! Gee. You sure have a way with words. <laughs>